Hi, friends. Welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. And I got a different kind of friend with me. Don't mean to string you along, but I brought a piece of string. Do you ever see one of these? It's a whole loop of string. There's no knots in it. It hasn't been knotty. Ha <laughs> ha. But I thought maybe we could learn something with a piece of string. I think we all have our share of problems. Yeah, we all have our share of problems. Sometimes we don't get along with people. Sometimes, uh, and most of the time, the problems we have are our own fault. Maybe we do something that we shouldn't do or we say something we shouldn't say. We go someplace we shouldn't say, say, go or we see something that we know we shouldn't be looking at, but we end up doing it. And it ends up causing us problems. We have problems with people. And sometimes when we have those problems, we tend to blame other people. And you know what? When we really start to grow up, we quit blaming everybody else and we start taking responsibility. Sometimes we'll turn to other things, like maybe we go have our ice cream. It's not a bad idea. But turning to things that hurt us and destroy us, that'd be a really bad thing. And we end up having a big mess. And before you know it, other people can start to see that there is a mess in our life by the knots. We're going, what do we do? What do we do? Well, I tell you what we do. The Bible tells us to cast or give all of our anxiety, all of our problems to God. Why? Because he cares for us. And as we give him our problems, he takes and he removes them so that we don't have to carry them. Does that mean that we do that one time and everything's okay? No, because you know what? Before long, you got some different problems. Because like Pastor Kevin has often said, if we could kick our number one troublemaker in the seat of the pants, none of us would be able to sit down. Who's our troublemaker? It's us. We can blame the devil. We can blame God. He's big enough. We can blame the dog who ate our homework, but we shouldn't have tried to give it to him to eat in the first place. We can blame a lot of th people for the mess that we have made. But it's only when we come to Jesus that we say, Jesus, I blew it. I was wrong. Please forgive me. That he is able to take it and remove our sins. In fact, the Bible tells us if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us of all unrighteousness. But we have to make the first move of going to him and saying, I am sorry, I messed up, I blew it. We all have, haven't we? We've all made mistakes and we're gonna make some more. But that's not bad because no matter what, God will never stop loving us for he has loved us with an everlasting and perfect love. And what do we do with that? I think the greatest thing we can do is take the love that God has given to us and we start sharing it with other people. We start loving on other people like we want to be loved on. And we start caring about other people like we've been cared for by Jesus. And we try not to be so naughty that we end up with a bunch of more problems. And whenever we have problems, we go to him or we find a trusted friend that will help us go to him. And we have him help sort out our mess so we can go the way that he wants us to go, not the way that we think we're so smart and we're trying to go on our own. Well, hey gang, this is Pastor Kevin, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.